Howdy, I'm our Katia and... Hold on. Is this a... A... A casting call? Whoa! This is the casting call for Sky's Lark, which is the sort of animated series that won the Vote Now contest a while back. I had to update the story a little bit to make it understandable, and now I can finally put up a casting call for it. Here's a little background on the series. This takes place hundreds, if not thousands of years into the future, where the entire world has changed into one warring nation. The human race is about to die out, and the animals have to decide which species will rise to be the dominant race. Naturally, there's a bit of dispute on the subject. The deer think that they are the natural leaders, as the males are born with crowns on their heads. Some other animals believe that all animals should rule equally. Then the guardians come in. For some reason, four species of animal were chosen with two special members in it, one that has control over a specific element, whether it be fire, water, earth, or air, and one that has control over them all. So that is basically all you need to know about Sky's Lark. There will be three lines for you to try out, one that is in a prologue that has to sound serious, unless stated otherwise. The others are lines from the actual script. Here we go. We're going to start off first with the element guardians. These are the animals that have special powers in the elements and stuff like that. First one is Sky the Wind. He's the main character, well, main male character in the series. Sky is the guardian of the wind element. After unexplained events, his pupils close until he became the blind cat he is today. He keeps to himself and believes in uniting animals under a single peaceful government. You should have a kind of young male serious voice. Here are the lines. Up next is Funge the Fire. Funge is the guardian of the fire element. His father is unknown, even by those who grew up with his mother. He becomes the leader of the deer in the first episode. He should have a young male voice with a natural tendency towards kind of like hatred and stuff like that. Here are his lines. Zarnar the Earth is not actually my character, therefore I am not going to have her up for auditions. Next is Singo the Water. Singo is the guardian of the water element. He is trusting, and a little too trusting sometimes, and is the great leader of the birds. He should have a strong male voice. After the element guardians comes the cats. Lark is another one of the main characters. Lark is the daughter of Kaichi and Mahoda and the older sister of Shard. She is confident and carefree, living life as if she has forever to live it. She's not very good at fighting and trusts those that seem to be trustworthy. She should have a young female voice. Here are her lines. Shard is the youngest daughter of Kaichi and Mahoda and the younger sister of Lark. She is a natural fighter and has to have concrete proof of loyalty before she can trust someone. She should have a young female voice. Kaichi is the mate of Mahoda and the father of Lark and Shard. He is generally gruff and has a very questionable past. He should have a gruff, older male voice. Mahoda is the mate of Kaichi and the mother of Lark and Shard. She is very kind and motherly, but seems a little mental and wary of the past. She should have a motherly female voice. Now for the deer. Ki is Funge's cousin and second in command. Although he looks up to Funge, he covets his mate. He should have a young male voice. Nuwanda is Funge's mate and Ki's longtime best friend. She thinks positive of most things, but is not blind to the darkness that lays in Funge's heart. She should have a strong female voice. Lily is Funge's mother and Ki's aunt. She has a questionable past and seems to take advantage to every opportunity that gives itself to her, including her son's leadership. She should have a sly female voice.
Rico is Funge's right hoof cat. He is included with the deer and not the cats because he does not seem to like his own species. He has a questionable past as well. He should have a sly male voice. Tashi is Saranara's brother. He absolutely hates being the leader and had to be forced on the mission to align the wolves with the birds. He has a stiff attitude and does not like to go off the main objective. He should have a strong male voice. Kibikon, or as she likes to be called, Kibi, is the daughter of the great alpha of the wolves and is in love with Tashi, although she has not told him. She likes to look at things through a half-full perspective, although she is willing to fight for what is right. She should have a kind of happy female voice. Now on to the birds. Kaisa is the wife of Singo. She is pregnant with his egg at the start of the series. She does not trust Scree or the deer and has a cautious yet outgoing personality. She should have a soft female voice. Scree is Singo's right-wing raven, but has a mysterious attitude and his past is questionable. He seems to keep to himself. He should have a sly, scratchy male voice. And that's all of them. Leave any auditions in the video responses and I'll look at them as soon as I can. Also, look in the description for more info, and don't forget to check out the site for additional information. Thank you!